Hello everyone, and today we are looking at my budget gaming PC with a budget of $500 Canadian or $344 US dollars. I built this computer at $470 Canadian dollars or $324 US dollars. I pulled together a computer that can handle the latest games and keeps its own. Keep in mind that I made this from all new parts from Amazon and only used a single secondary hard drive from my old laptop. Specs contain AMD Ryzen 3 3200G with the graphics card, the integrated Vega 8 chip with 2GB of VRAM, 8GB of DDR4 RAM, and a 400 watt power supply a 1 terabyte hard drive and a 500 gigabyte laptop hard drive. All of this contained in a cheap rose bowl case with some cheap LED lights. So let's see what can do in some new and older games. For Portal 2, we get a nice and buttery smooth 95 frames per second most of the time on high settings with a minimum of 66 frames per second and a maximum of 133 in the test tanks. Watchdog with a playable average of 38 frames per second on medium and low settings. Um, with minimums down to 18 frames per second and a maximum of 219 FPS. With BeamNG Drive, the best car smash and gang with an average of a slightly choppy 28 frames per second on low and medium settings. With lows down to zero when we were loading and maximum of 46 frames per second. Ne Next up, an eSports style. Lo Rocket League with an average of 33 frames per second at high settings and with a maximum of 43 frames per second and 12 FPS for a minimum. So then, in conclusion, my computer does pretty well in games, sometimes a little choppy. Considering I built this out of all new parts and it all costed $470 Canadian, I think I did pretty well. Case may be underwhelming. I also could have gotten better components if I had gone used. But, it does what I want it to do, and that's what's important. So hopefully, you enjoyed the video. I know it's an awful lot different from my other videos, but I wanted to try something new. Thanks for watching. See you all soon.